Hey there, I'm Francesco, your friendly developer advocate at DailyDev. Today we are diving into the future of developer research and problem solving. DailyDev has always been your favorite and go-to source for staying up to date with the latest tech news, but it's time to take things up a notch. Are you ready? Introducing the all new Daily Dev Search. Powered by Cutting Edge AI, it's not just a search bar, it's your secret weapon to tackle any challenge or questions you are facing in your daily coding career. No fluff, no nonsense, just the answers you need right when you need them. Why is it amazing? It's always up to date. There are no hallucinations, we are still in beta. Built for developers, markups, and so on, and it's really concise. It's right there in your new tab. So let's jump right in. For example, we can ask the search, how to connect a Node.js application to a Postgres database? And here we have a step-by-step -step procedure, even with the npm install, pg, npm init, we have an example of the code. So this is very well written in five simple steps and we have the sources at the end. We can also ask something like, what are the docs for a specific endpoint? For example, for delete slash v3 slash marketing endpoint for a specific application, for example, send grid. And here we have the result. And the cool part is that at the end, we have the link to the actual documentation. So you can even read more here. I really like how the search replied on this very specific question. We can ask the search something like how to not allow line breaks on an A element in a specific CSS framework, like for example, Tailwind. Let's see how it behaves in this case. It takes a couple of seconds. And here we have the example. Very straight to the point, white space dash no wrap. Really like that. And of course, the links at the end. Let's try something more controversial, like what is the best JavaScript framework? <laughs> and here everyone would have their own opinion, but here, of course, it's very politically correct. It tries to give all the possible pros and cons for every framework. We have also the link to the actual article at the end. We can also ask the a search for about something specific, like upright. What is upright? And we have an explanation on what is uh, this uh, cool uh, company, I can say. A very really focused open source one. Let's go back to something more technical. What's the difference between a SQL and a NoSQL database? It takes a couple of seconds, and here we have uh, a good answer. This can also be a uh, question that you get in an interview. So data structures, create properties, database scalability, community support, uh, and so on. And it's not that long. It's straight to the point, but it's also clear enough. We can ask about specific features for a specific language or technology. For example, what are the best features of the Rust programming language? And here are some of the key features for Rust. Safety by default, flexibility, tooling. There are the links to the sources, of course, at the end. Rust is a reliable, efficient and safe programming language. So a really great way to get started if you want to ask about our programming language maybe before learning it. And now something that developers really like. What is the best IDE? For example, for the Python programming language. I tried some of them. We have, for example, PyCharm. I've used that. Visual Studio Code, of course. Honestly, I don't know the other three, but you can also try them out. Another topic that I really like, what are REST API best practices? Let's see, it takes a couple of seconds. To design a high quality REST API, it's important to follow best practices, accept and respond with the JSON, use nouns instead of verbs in endpoint paths, and so on. A really great uh, to-do list, uh, I can say, about uh, how to create uh, a REST API using good patterns. Now, one of my favorite ones, what's the last Python release? And it's a one-line answer. It's exactly what we need. <laughs> As October 20, 2023, right answer in just one line. We can ask the search something about how to fix an error. For example, how to fix an error 404 in Nginx. Let's see how it goes. To fix this error, you can follow the steps, verify the URL. It's a good start. I don't know if this will solve your problem, but for sure this is something that you might want to use or you might want to give it a try. 
so for sure it's worth trying if you have a specific problem for example about nginx migrations are probably one of the worst things that you can do as a developer let's try to ask the search how to migrate from jest to vitess and here there are steps, uh, remove just configuration files, update the unit test, and so on. I will definitely try this out if I want to migrate. Let's try with a hard question. What is a multimodal database? Let's see the answer. Scraping web pages, done in six seconds. A multimodal database is a database management system that supports multiple data models. Good start, and I really like that the answer is not that long. It's just uh, three paragraphs, four paragraphs. Sometimes on other, with other AI tools, I get two long answers, and then I have to filter it. We can ask uh, the searcher, how does indexing work in a database? This is another interview question. Let's see how it behaves. Done in less than three seconds, a database index is a data structure that allows for efficient retrieval of data from a database. There are three, four paragraphs. Uh, we have... Uh, answer in detail, maybe it's a bit too long, but I still like it, it's still concise enough. Another question about Docker. How can I write a Docker Compose file? Let's see here. We have some basic steps, I like that there are step-by-step -step procedures. There is an example, really like it. Very good example, I, I have to say, to run the application, Docker PS, uh, and then Docker RM, good run docker compose down, down even at the end so great answer here really like it plus one to the search so that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it and saw the potential of this new ai tool integrated directly into daily dev if you have any questions just write them below if you want to stay updated on daily dev news subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video bye go ahead and try daily dev search